Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will learn how to compute derivatives using the product rule. Here is the product rule. We use the product rule when taking the derivative of one function multiplied by another function. My teacher in high school had us memorize it by repeating this over and over again. The derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first, where the first is the function f and the second is the function g. You will want to memorize this rule because it will make solving derivatives a lot easier. Let's see some examples. First example, we want to compute the derivative of 2x squared times 3x. First, we can use the multiplication by a constant rule and pull out the 2 and 3 from the derivative. This simplifies to 6 times the derivative of x squared times x. Next, we see that we have two functions multiplied together, f and g, where f is equal to x squared and g is equal to x. So we can use the product rule. This equals 6 times the sum of the derivative of x squared times x and the derivative of x times x squared. We will compute the derivative of x squared first. Using the power rule, we get that this equals 2x. We then compute the derivative of x using the power rule and get 1. We can plug these answers in. Now we can simplify this to 18x squared, our answer. Next example, we want to compute the derivative of x to the negative 2 times 2 plus x. We see that we are taking the derivative of two functions multiplied together, f and g, where f is equal to x to the negative 2 and g is equal to 2 plus x. So we can use the product rule. This equals the derivative of x to the negative 2 times 2 plus x plus the derivative of 2 plus x times x to the negative 2. We will first compute the derivative of x to the negative 2. Using the power rule, this equals negative 2 times x to the negative 3. Next, we compute the derivative of 2 plus x. Using the sum difference rule, the constant rule, and the power rule, we get 1. Next, we plug in these values. We can now simplify this answer to equal negative 1 over x squared minus 4 over x cubed our answer. Last example, we want to compute the derivative of x times the square root of x. We see that we want to take the derivative of two functions multiplied together, f and g, where f is equal to x and g is equal to the square root of x. So we can use the product rule to solve this. This equals the derivative of x times the square root of x plus the derivative of the square root of x times x. We first want to compute the derivative of x. Using the power rule, this equals 1. Next, we compute the derivative of the square root of x. Using the power rule again, this equals 1 half times x to the negative half. We plug in these values, and now we can simplify this to equal 3 halves times the square root of x, our answer. It is important to get the hang of computing derivatives using this rule because this rule is super helpful and will be used a lot to solve derivatives. So for more help on this topic, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab.